I can't believe two products are gone from my project pan. Two! And it's October. Welcome back. Today's video is going to be a project use up 2023 check in. So I started a what I'm calling a project use up uh, for 2023 and I had seven items I believe it is that I wanted to use all the way up. So a little bit different from project pans that I used to do in the past where I was looking to just either hit pan on a product or see how much progress I could get in a product. I chose these items specifically because I thought that I would be able to actually use them up before the end of 2023. So I said I wanted to do a check-in in October and somehow, somehow it's October. Welcome. Welcome to October. So I'm going to do a little update and show you my progress and the products that are no longer in my collection. So real quick, I am filming in a new space and this might be my first video that actually goes up. This isn't my first video that I'm filming in my new space, but I think it might be the first one that actually goes up on my channel. So I don't really have much of a setup yet. I kind of like shoved my plant back here. Uh, might be a little bit echoey as I'm still actually arranging all of my furniture, getting everything in. Uh, but I had to a bit unexpectedly move into a new apartment so I haven't had really consistent videos in the month of September I was living in my friend's guest room because unfortunately my home was broken into had quite a bit stolen from me and I was living out of one makeup bag for a while and when I was packing I definitely packed all of these products uh, because I was like hey this is just another way for me to be able to try to consistently use these up for my project use up just a quick a little personal update there but let's hop into it okay a couple products that I feel like I have been pretty consistent on, one definitely being the LYS Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. So I will do some close-ups as well. I feel like the concealer is a little bit hard to tell. To me, when I am filming this really late at night, so it is dark, dark. Um, so I just have my ring light in front of me, but I feel like when I hold it up to the ring light, I can really see that like... There's really, there's not a lot going on in this concealer. I mean, there's still some there and I'm still going to keep using it. It's definitely my most used concealer right now. I will say, I also kind of went back to my Natasha Denona High Glam because I just, I love that concealer so much. I really wanted to be able to finish off this LYS concealer. I also thought it was interesting because I had my makeup done by a makeup artist um, in the month of September and I brought a few of my own products, you know, like items that you know are I know are a good skin match for me. So I brought the LYS concealer and she used it and she was like, what concealer is that? That's so nice. And she had never heard of the brand. I was like, they're at Sephora and they're at a little bit more affordable price point for Sephora brands. So I I'm feeling good about the LYS. I still think that I can finish this up before. 2024. I really do. Another one I've been using so much is definitely my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is the Airbrush a Flawless a Finish Powder. I'm doing some close-ups so we can compare the two, but you can see I really just have product around the outer part here. Now for the Charlotte Tilbury powder, I feel like it's taking me a little bit longer to use it up because I really only use this on my under eyes. Every once in a while, I'll use it to set my full face, but not really. I'm mostly using this to set my under eye concealer and I love it for that. It is such a thin, like fine powder and it doesn't ever look too cakey. Doesn't look like I'm wearing too much on my under eyes. So I really love it for that reason. But that means that it takes me a very long time to actually use it up. And another, you know, great reason for this project use up is to see like, normally when I would get to like this in the powder, I'd be like, oh, I have to buy a new one. Listen, mine has looked like this for several months now and I'm still, I just use a little triangle powder puff that I get from Amazon swipe it around the sides, add it to my under eyes, and I'm good to go. Again, you need such a small amount of product under here. Even if I use it, like sometimes if I have like breakouts along my chin, I'll press a little bit of the powder into there as well. But this really shows me how long this powder can last. And last. I've also been doing a really good job at using up my Becca Capri Coast Bronzer. So this, I mean, that's looking pretty, again, it's really just around the sides here. Usually for my bronzers, I like to use what I call like a big daddy brush, but I have switched to a smaller one. It's a BK Beauty brush. I can link it in my description box because I can't think of the number off the top of my head, but it's a little bit smaller, but that's what I've been using to really hit everything around the sides of my Capri Coast. I hit pan on this a while ago, and then when I was doing my project use up, 
hit pan on this a while ago and when I was doing my project use up I was like you know what it is so hard for me to use a bronzer up like I love bronzer that means I have a lot of bronzers a lot of bronzers open a lot of favorite bronzers so I was like I want one to just a focus on you can no longer get Capri Coast so like that's always kind of sad but it's still a very satisfying feeling using up your makeup uh one that I don't think I've done the best job on is my Super Shock from ColourPop Cosmetics. This is in Koosh. So again, I'm going to do some close-ups because this one has broken and I just have to kind of like repress it every time. So a lot of times things go flying everywhere. And I honestly, I think I know who is to blame for this and it's what's on my eyes today. Kaleidos that just came out with their Alma Viva collection and this eyeshadow quad and venus trap is beautiful i will have my september favorites video coming up if it's not already up i will link it i'm not sure exactly the order of my videos right now because my life is in shambles but this is beautiful this is basically all i've been wearing in the month of september and it is just so gorgeous so even though i packed a koosh with me uh, i did a pr haul pretty quickly after i moved into my friend's house i did a pr haul with my friend ashley which is here on youtube and once i saw this palette i was like I have to wear that. So this is what I've been wearing a lot, but I still, I have Koosh out front and center on my new bathroom vanity to remind myself to wear it as often as I can because I really want to go through a ColourPop Super Shock. I used to go through these really on the regular, uh, so I definitely want to be able to go through another one because I have a lot in my collection. I have done a couple declutters recently and one of them was on my single shadows and I'm really proud of that declutter. If you haven't seen it, obviously check it out but I really like slashed my single shadow collection, including my super shocks. Uh, another one, I don't think I've been doing such a good job on this one, but I don't know, it's eyeliner. This is from Glossier. This is their number one pencil in ink. So it is just the black eyeliner. Listen, I need to sharpen it again. So that will help me a little bit once I sharpen it, but I feel like I've just been reaching for my L'Oreal, their infallible grip eyeliner. I don't know why, because I love the Glossier. I just, I have a problem when I'm almost done with a product and I stop using it. Listen, no one is more mad at myself than me right now because this has nothing to do with makeup, but this is just who I am. Like I do this with makeup, I do this, I do this with food. I made such a good dessert in my old apartment. It was, I think it was sugar-free Cool Whip, right? I think the whole thing was supposed to be either no sugar or low sugar, which doesn't always mean it's better for you, but go with me. Um, so we had the tub of Cool Whip and then inside you put this like chocolate powder, like it was like a brownie powder or something like that. And then this like brownie crumble, like you crumbled up this like brownie thing and you put it in there and you put it in the fridge. I have a video on my second YouTube channel, which is more focused on healthy habits. Like I just have a little short making it. It was so good. It was so hard for me not to eat the entire thing. And then I had one perfect slurving left, right? Just like the one, cause I save it. Once it's like down, especially to that last serving, I do it with ice cream. Like I do it, and this is just what I do. So I was saving it. And then my home got broken into, and then I left. And then by the time that I came back to like go through everything and all of that i went into my fridge and i stopped and i was like well that's not good anymore so i should have just enjoyed the final serving of this really yummy dessert but i didn't see this is this is what life is teaching me just you just gotta enjoy the things right now because you never know when they'll get taken away from you okay uh but my glossier i'm gonna sharpen it and i'm gonna put it front and center i just need to stop using my one from l'oreal because i can definitely go through this I also really enjoy, someone commented in, maybe it was my last project use up video, and I think I was, maybe I was talking about a lip liner, but they said, make sure to put the cap on the end so you have more room. I, I was gonna use that as lip liner, okay. So you have more room, and I was like, wait, duh. Like, that's a great idea. I'm sure everyone probably knows that, but there's so many times where I don't do that, and I just hold it like this, or hold my lip liners like that, but put the cap on the end. Huh. Who knew? Like I mentioned, two products from my Project Use Up are no longer in my collection. Not because I used them up, but because they got stolen from me. So, that's a bummer. Um, honestly, it might sound super strange, but this was a video I saw on my filming schedule. Like I, I put it on my calendar when I initially uploaded this last video, so I would remember to do my check-in. And I saw it and I just immediately was like, I don't want to do that video. <laughs> I don't want to do it. Um, just because I knew a couple of the products had been stolen from me during the break-in. 
I posted a short um, or two, I guess, about like what happened. I posted a short of like packing my apartment and I've obviously I've talked about it here and there because I was like filming from my friend's guest room and talking about my emergency makeup bag and all of that. And I know so many of you get it because unfortunately and horrifically, so many of you have been through a similar situation like this, but it's just, it just kind of feels very um, triggering when you, talk about it or like even something like knowing like oh great two of my makeup items were in my purse that was stolen from me it just it just doesn't make me want to talk about it <laughs> you know what I mean um and then it's hard because obviously with filming and being in a new space and like obviously like I don't really love my setup yet I don't really love my camera placement yet I feel like I keep having to like lean forward on my desk because I don't know if I'm close enough to my camera I'm sure it's echoey in here like all of this right now is just a reminder of what happened obviously just being in a new apartment and trying to start over and make something feel like my home is just a reminder that more than any material things that were stolen from me what actually gets stolen from you during something like that is any sort of sense of comfort, safety, stability, security. That's what gets taken away and it's just hard. So unfortunately, um, when my apartment was broken into, I my, my purse got stolen. I, I was at my friend's house, which was in the building next to me and my apartment complex. So Typically, whenever Aries and I go over there, I usually don't bring my purse because there's nothing I need in it, and I assume it's safe in my locked and secured home. Uh, so that night, I didn't bring my purse with me, so my purse got stolen, my life, my driver's license, I still need to order a health insurance card, my Target card never came in, um, you know, my key fob got stolen, just... It was a lot and unfortunately there was also makeup. So when I went to the police uh, station, I, I filed a report that night You know, obviously I called, well unfortunately I walked in during it, so obviously I called 911 and obviously like the cops had to come and everything. Um, but I was so shook up and so overwhelmed and confused and horrified and sad and scared. Um, you know, I just, I wrote down what I could immediately think of and then I was like, I have to, you know, go through everything and then it took me a while to be able to muster up the courage to go back to my apartment, um, to go through everything and to go through my closet, which is where they hid and it just, it's, 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 it's just traumatizing. I mean, there's no other way around it, but I was able to go back after a couple weeks, go through everything and then I had to go out to the police station to finish, um, filing my police report. And, you know, it took her a while. She was updating everything and then she called me up and she goes, that's so uh, disgusting. Like they, they stole your makeup. And I was like, oh, it was just the, the makeup that was in my purse. Like they didn't like go through my makeup or anything like that. She goes, oh, and it was probably all your favorite stuff too, wasn't it, if it was in your purse. I was like, yeah. Yeah, it was. So, you know, when I am out and about, and especially that week, I had family in town. So I had a bunch of stuff in my purse that, again, like usually makeup is in there, but I had a bunch of extra stuff in there that normally isn't. But because I've been out so much, um, I had more in there and I had an eyeliner in there. I had a handful of different lip products in there. A bunch of my favorite lip liners were in there and lipsticks, but my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude was in there. That was a bummer. I mean, it was almost gone. And obviously, you know, like with the makeup, like they're they're not doing anything with that. They stole it because it was a YSL purse. Like, congratulations. Like, good for you. I hope you make money off of it. But I was like, man, like my iconic nude lip liner. Like I, I really was like gonna be so excited to finally use that lip liner up. But you know, it is what it is. But another one that was in there that was in my project use up was my Mac Honey Love. If you've been with me for a minute, you probably know how much this one hurts me because I loved my MAC Honey Love. It was one of my most worn lipsticks and especially like the, the weeks prior to being broken into, I was wearing Honey Love all the time. It's why it was always in my clutch. It was always in my clutch with me. Whenever I was going to film with it in a video or talk about a video, I always had to go get it out of my clutch. Um, so Mac Honey Love had been with me for a long time. I've talked about it extensively on my channel and I was just going to be so proud once I went through it. And I was really trying, like 
I was really, I was, I'd be wearing that lipstick, okay? So, those two are gone. So, obviously, <laughs> I, I was like, do I even continue to do my project use up? Like, I, you know, I kind of had that feeling of like, why bother? But I was like, no, I'm not gonna let someone take another thing away from me. <laughs> like, I'm good. So I wanted to do it, but just substitute in another lip liner and lipstick. So honestly, I just kind of hunted through my collection to see what products are um, that I felt were like in a similar spot. I definitely feel like the two of them were some of my most used lip products. So they were pretty far down there. So I just chose the next, the next things that I could. So for the lip liner, it's the Natasha Denona. This is the I Need, I Need a Nude Lip Crayon. This is from the My Dream Collection and it is the Natasha shade. So again, I'll do some like fresh close-ups of this one, but I love this lip liner. I wear it so much. I definitely have been wearing uh, Julia quite a bit. I just mentioned this in my favorites as well. Really been loving Julia. I just bought a handful of new lip liners from Natasha Denona, but this is gonna be my sign to go back to my dream. It's super beautiful. Um, I'll do a little swatch here. It's just a nice, like neutral nude, a little pinky nude, and it's beautiful. And then for my lipstick, I had mentioned at one point that I was thinking about putting this lipstick in my Project Use Up, but I only wanted to put in one and to really concentrate on it. But I'm gonna put in Charlotte Tilbury very victoria hopefully we could say that together um again i definitely feel like i was further along in my honey love but very victoria has been with me for a minute and she is very loved i think this will make a really pretty lip combination as well i love to do lip combo videos so this inspires me to do one with this lip combo right here but very victoria is part of the matte revolution line under the charlotte tilbury lipsticks which are my favorite lipsticks Again, like I said, I've had Very Victoria for a hot minute and I love it. So I'm going to see, I don't know if I'll be able to use them up. So we're starting a little bit later, but I'm going to do my best on those two new lip products. And that is why we've had two leave and two come in, but, but you know, uh, it is what it is. I feel like that's kind of been my motto this last month and just trying to get through everything as best as I can. Um, so thank you so much for sticking by me. I hope you enjoyed seeing a new project use up. Again, my space might be continuing to change over the next little while here, but I will just, I'll get it figured out because I always do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.